Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Today I am working on a MPU board from a Game Plan Sharpshooter 2. This is a Game Plan MPU 2, I believe. It says right over there in the corner, MPU 2. This is the last iteration of the main processing board that Game Plan produced for the small number of games that they put out on the market. If you've been following this, this is another one in the video series where I'm working on this Sharpshooter 2 that I picked up really cheap that was in not so great condition and I'm trying to bring it back to life. So, the earlier videos just basically were kind of like a first look of, well, here's what I come across. If you haven't seen them, you might want to watch them because it's kind of neat to see what happens to a game, you know, when it first comes in and it's just completely undiscovered. Um, so basically, I managed to do a little bit of tinkering on the game, fixing a few fuses, checking some of the wiring, and I got the game to boot up, so I verified that the MPU board does work. I haven't done anything else really with the game yet. It doesn't seem to start a game. None of the lights come on, except for a few GI, so there's still definitely some serious problems with this game. So, first thing I want to do is mitigate damage. Even before I put the game in my vehicle, I cut the battery off. There's a battery that sits on this MPU board right here up top. And uh, that's bad, bad news. So the board sits in the thing upright like this, and there's a battery right here. So as soon as it starts to leak electrolyte, poof, it just screws everything up on the board. And as far as I know, they don't make repros of this. This is not a big enough market. This was a copy of the Bali 35 board, but it is not an exact copy. There's definitely some differences in it. It runs on uh, different voltages. The, their system ran on different voltages. It used some different kinds of things. But it is very similar in some respects, but it's not a drop-in. So there's no, you can't use the Alltech board or a Rotten Dog board. Now maybe somebody's made a repro board, but I don't know of it. So these boards are very valuable in that respect in that there may not be very many of them out there, especially ones that actually work. So the first thing I want to do is I want to mitigate the damage. Uh, even though it looks relatively clean, I can still see a little I can see a little fuzziness around here. So I'm going to neutralize this electrolyte. So I've got a big thing of uh, white vinegar here and I'll take, uh, take some cotton balls and I'll uh, usually I would transfer this into a smaller container like a little mug and I've got some alcohol in here. This is just, oh, white vinegar, just white vinegar. And I'm just going to kind of douse this area here with the white vinegar and try to neutralize any electrolyte. Now, people often think batteries leak acid, but they actually leak electrolyte base. So it's not acid, it's, the, it's electrolyte. And uh, that's what's, uh, it's just as corrosive, it's just <clears throat> at the other end of the pH scale. So I'm going to go around here and I'm going to hit the positive and the negative terminals and then follow these things around a little bit. Try to get as much as I can. I'll zoom in there a little bit so you can kind of see. So this is where the battery was right there. And luckily there's not any obvious signs of corrosion but just in case because this stuff can continue and manifest long after the battery is gone if it's still there I just want to make sure we don't have any issues there so I want to clean this board really good so I'll go over it with distilled white vinegar and I'll hit the, the other side too and uh, then I will go over it with alcohol to just keep it a little bit clean and as best I can just make sure everything is cool I see little little spots here and there and I'll kind of just be fiddling around with them just trying to make sure it's relatively clean. Now there's much more comprehensive processes you can do on these things. I'm just doing kind of a kind of a quickie stopgap thing to prep the board 
so that it's in a condition where we can just stop any damage from happening or things getting worse. Even if the board was severely damaged, as long as I, if I think it is in any way repairable, I will do that. Then I will get the alcohol, and you know, Q-tips are also really good for this, but and I'll hit it with the alcohol and help clean it. Take my paper towel and come wipe everything. I won't bore you with this repetitive cleaning process that I normally do. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do after I finish is I'm going to put a memory capacitor here. Now this had a battery. This game will run fine without a battery. The, the downside I hear is that it'll uh, the score display when it displays high scores may have some gibberish. Um, but there's no reason why I can't um, upgrade this board and put what's called a memory capacitor on here. I've done some other videos of doing it. Here, this is an example of an alternative to a battery. Here's two memory capacitors. These are um, 1.5 farad, 5.5 volt capacitors, and uh, you see they're just basically different styles with the terminal, the edges, terminals on the edge or on the top. And uh, I prefer the these ones with the terminals on the top because then I can just glue it right there and then run leads to it. And the way the battery, the memory cap works is it works like a battery but it doesn't have any of the bad effects of a battery of like leaking and destroying um, the thing. It lasts a lot longer. It'll hold the charge depending upon you know the, the, the type of machine a anywhere from a couple of months or longer. Once you turn it on it just charges it up and just slowly discharges over a long period of time. So it's a, it's a very nice thing to do to replace a regular battery. So what I will do is I will when this thing dries and after I'm finishing cleaning it, I will attach this to this and uh, then we'll, this will upgrade it from the old battery to a memory capacitor. Then I will go around and I will clean all the contacts and all the contact points and I will also examine the rear end of all of these pins over here to see if there's any cracked solder joints. If there are, I'm going to reflow them. So I'm basically just going to give this board a good once over. It did boot up, but the game was not operating so it could possibly be some problems with this thing connecting to some of the peripheral boards but I will just go one board by board in the machine and uh, slowly uh, check everything and try to clean it all up and make it make it kinda like new and then we'll see if we can get this game working so when you get one of these boards that's one of the first things you want to do knock that battery off hit it with some vinegar then clean it with some alcohol Keep the board really nice and clean. Keep that corrosion from spreading and uh, just kind of mitigate any potential damage. Then, then begin the process of uh, cleaning it up and going back to surveying what's wrong in the machine. So watch more of the video series. There's going to be more as I go and you can see me try to get this game working and uh, we'll see how it goes. And, uh, and for, you know, as always, thanks for watching. For more, visit pinballhelp.com. There's also the Pinball Help YouTube channel. There's probably a almost 300 videos up there now. So um, take, take a look. Uh, feel free to leave feedback. Mike at pinballhelp.com. That's it. Thanks.